Then sank Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. it outside. They're using it. What? They're using it to get ready for the church program next Sunday. Oh man, how long is he going to be using it for? I need to, to use to practice for my school play. 
Well, why can't you just let him use it? Because he did not ask me first, and it belongs to me. Can't you let him use it for just a little bit longer? Mama, I need that microphone now. Salvation, scene three, take one marker. Do you know what the most beautiful thing in the world is? Why, well, that'd be getting forgiveness for my sins from Jesus Christ. So if you start giving to our charities, you can become saved, right? Not exactly. The Bible says that we're saved through faith in Jesus Christ, not by the things we do or how much money we give away. That way we can't boast that we saved ourselves. Salvation's a free gift from God. Cut! Not again. I have to fix the tripod. Logan, when are you going to be through using the microphone? Your sister needs to use the karaoke machine. Mama, I need it for the camera so that we can film the play. Well, how much longer before you're finished? I don't know, two more hours maybe? What are y'all doing? We're filming a Christian play for our church to show next Sunday. Really? Yes, his dad's the film director and he's going to have to put it together on the computer. The only thing that we need to do is film the play if we ever get it filmed. Yeah, my dad does this all the time in his workplace and I know what to do. All everyone has to do is just remember what they're supposed to say. Oh, cool. Can I help too? Yes, yeah, sure. You can help to remember their lines. Honey, he's still using it. Oh man, how long is he going to be using it for? I need it to practice for my school talent show on Monday. I need it now. He said he'll be through in just a little while. Can't you wait just a couple more hours? No, Mama. Tracy's coming by to pick me up in half an hour. I only need it for like 20 minutes. Then he can have it back. Logan, your sister says she can't wait that long. She needs to use the microphone for about 20 minutes right now. I gotta use the bathroom. I need to run home and check on my mom. All right, everyone, let's take a 20 minute break. Why is she always running home every few minutes? Show some respect. Her mom's dying of breast cancer. Oh, I forgot.
What have you been doing, sweetheart? I've been helping Logan and the others from a Christian play. Oh, what kind of play? We are filming a Christian movie to show at our youth group next Sunday. It's about Jesus saving the lost. You do believe in God, don't you, Mama? What good is believing in all that going to do me now? I don't understand. Look, I'm going to die real soon, sweetheart, and I can't get saved. I didn't go to church. I didn't live for God. It's just too late for me now. But, Mama, you need to become saved right now by just accepting Jesus. I heard this from the others in the play. I can't get saved. It's just too late for me now. Mama, you can't die of this day. You can't take care of me. You're the only thing that I regret leaving in this world. Meeting your daddy, having you is the best thing I did in this life. Mama, are you in a new way? How do you like it? Uh, I think I like that one better. Well, at least it's better than looking at my bald head. Mama, quit worrying about what you look like. You look fine. Naomi, they're calling to you. Logan is ready to start again. I have to go now, Mama. They're calling for me. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Wow, I'm glad that's over with. What? I thought you was looking forward to marrying me. No, I was referring to the fact that I don't really like churches that much. I never knew you had a concern about getting married at a church. It's not anything to do with you or the wedding. It's just I don't want to be around a bunch of holier-than-thou people. No, I really didn't think they were holier-than-thou, you know. It was people that we invited, our friends and our family. I know, maybe it's me. I've just never really understood the whole spirituality thing. Churchgoers seem to be the biggest hypocrites of them all. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but you know, the Bible does say that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Righteousness comes from God through believing in His Son, Jesus Christ, that He came and died on the cross for us. Everybody makes mistakes. How do you know those Bible verses so well? Christina, you really believe Jesus can save you? 
I'll believe in anything you want me to as long as we're together forever. Why are we stopping here? Our house is just down the hill. Come on, I want to show you something. Come on, I want to show you something. Why are we here? I don't know, it's like there's something special here. What do you mean? I don't know, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's like God has something special planned in his own timing. I just don't understand. You know, we can't always understand what God's plans for us are. No, I didn't mean that. Most wives, when they get married, their husbands take them across the threshold. I marry you, and you take me to a cow pasture. <laughs> Let's get out of here and go across the threshold. Hello? Yeah, she sure is. She's outside with Logan. They're practicing for a program for Sunday. I'll be glad to let her know. Okay, thanks. Bye. Salvation, scene four, take one marker. So if someone does that to me, can I get revenge? Why do you ask? Because yesterday at school, Billy was behind me and he pulled my hair and then when I got back from the bathroom, he hid my jacket from me. Then I went to go tell the teacher. Well, God wants us to love everyone, even our enemies. The Bible says that we should pray for those who treat us badly, bless those who curse us, and do good to those who hate us. That's going to be hard. Naomi, you need to run home. Your mom just called. She needs to talk to you about something. Cut. Not again. Stop it, will you? Can't you see that she's upset because her mother died? Wouldn't you feel the same way? I'm really sorry, guys. It's just that my mother's sick and going to die and no longer believes in God anymore. 
It's not your fault. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm the one who should be sorry. Naomi, it's never too late to give your life to Christ. A person can still be saved even on their deathbed. It's not too late for your mom. I still don't understand. Salvation comes from God, not from our works. Don't we have to live a good life too? Grace means getting something we don't deserve. None of us did anything to deserve God's grace. We couldn't do anything to deserve it. So, no matter what kind of life your mom has lived, she can still accept God's gift, even now. Don't be afraid. You know that God loves you and your mom. You can tell her that God still loves her and he died for her so that she could be with him forever. Hey, let's all pray for Naomi's mom right now. Father, we come to you right now in faith. We know that you want to save Naomi's mom. Your word says that you want all people to know the truth and to be saved. We don't know how much longer Naomi's mom will live, and we don't know if she knows you or not. Naomi is really scared. Please, Lord, send people to Naomi's mom to tell her that it's not too late for you to forgive her of her sins and that she can still be with you. Please help Naomi know what to say. In Jesus' name, amen. It's getting late, guys. Let's all go home. We will begin tomorrow. I have something I want to give to your mother. What is it? It's a flower from heaven. Where did you get it? God gave it to me. Why are you trying to give it to my mother? It never does. So take it. Whoever believes in Jesus Christ as their Savior will never die. you something. What is it? It's a flower from heaven. It's a what? Anna Richburg gave it to me while we were filming the play and God gave it to her and it never stops. I called you back here because I wanted to ask you something. What is it? You go to church a lot just like your daddy did. You're just like your father. Unlike me, I never went to church and I don't pray that much. Can I ask you something? Is Jesus in the Old Testament? Oh yes. Yes he is. You can find him in Isaiah chapter 53. In fact, he is in the whole Bible from the beginning to the end. You just have to read it and when you understand you can then see it. What are those things you used to tell me about how a person gets saved? It's a prayer. Well, it's called a sinner's prayer. No, I mean the three things you have to do before the prayer. First, you believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and was then resurrected from the grave. 
Next you repent for all your sins because you believe in him. Then you make it public. Christ said, if you, did, and if you confess me before you others, I will confess you before my Father in heaven. Here, Mama, this flower's for you. It never dies. Thank you, Naomi. Mama, would you like me to lead you in a prayer of salvation? How can I do all three of those things? I can't get up out of this bed anymore and do anything. Mama, Jesus was crucified between two thieves. One of them got saved while not at the cross. You don't have to get up and do anything. All you have to do is call on his name. I don't know. I just don't know about any of this. was a good man. He talked about God a lot, just like you. You're so much like your father. Mama, I don't have any memory of him. No, I guess not. I don't suppose you would have any memory of him. Did you love him and did he love you? I loved your daddy more than I loved anyone in this whole entire life. And he loved me too, but I was a little jealous because he loved God more than me and I felt resentment for that. Why would you end up my dad for that? Isn't loving God a good thing? Yes, but I wanted all of him. His every thought on me. I know it sounds selfish, but that's just the way that I was. But Mama, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Please let me lead you through a prayer of salvation so that you can go to heaven. No, no, I can't do that. I'm not good enough. I'll do something wrong, and it just won't matter anyways. Besides, now you're old enough to see how imperfect I really am. Mother, I love you no matter how imperfect you think you are, and God does the same thing for us. Won't you accept Christ today? I'm on a perilous journey into the unknown, and I'm going to die real soon, sweetheart. And there's nothing anyone can do about that. But, Mom... You can't die. You can't die like this. Can't die like this. Just can't die like this. Escape? Look again. Escape comes equipped with a V6 engine, automatic, 6 CD changer, power moonroof, keyless entry, AC, 16 inch aluminum wheels, and more. That's why Escape is named Best Small SUV. For a limited time, you can get an Escape XLT 4x4 for only $2.59 a month. That's only $2.59 a month. Get to your New England Ford dealer now because once they're gone, they're gone. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, come on and look again. Sponsored by. Rocky Mountain Cold Coors Light. Cold. Down. Easy. Oh, hey, hi. I'm Baker. Don't mind me. I'm just a dermatophyte. You know, a nail infection. CSI Miami. A murder in a meth lab. Somebody beat the cold out of it. We'll take CSI into the bizarre world of drug addiction. All right. General, um, do you see any kind of a situation where uh, Saddam Hussein, you say between uh, 48 and 72 hours, is that what you're giving this war? Bill, uh, I've said from the beginning it'll take five to seven days to get to the outskirts of Baghdad, and we're going to do that. But we're in no rush after that. If we set a 30-day campaign, we've got three weeks for that regime to fall apart from within. 
We don't have to rush it once we get there. We've got to surgically take out the uh, units that are there, any kind of resistance we can. He has thus far refused. All the decades of deceit and cruelty have now reached an end. Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Their refusal to do so will result in military conflict commenced at a time of our choosing. For their own safety, all foreign nationals, including journalists and inspectors, should leave Iraq immediately. Many Iraqis can hear me tonight in a translated radio broadcast, and I have a message for them. If we must begin a military campaign, it will be directed against the lawless men who rule your country, and not against you. As our coalition takes away their power, we will deliver the food and medicine you need. We will tear down the apparatus of terror, and we will help you to build a new Iraq that is prosperous and free. In a free Iraq, there will be no more wars of aggression against your neighbors, no more poison factories, no more executions of dissidents, no more torture chambers and rape rooms. What is this? My husband's going to fight a war and they're worried about a car tag. Hey man, why do you think you went home over today? Does he know something? First sergeant knows everything. Let's go by his place. All right. I'll drive. Bye. You don't mind us coming to his house? What's your first sergeant for? Okay. How about you knocking it? Hey there, Carson. Is your dad home? Yes, sir. Daddy, some guys from the base are here. Hey, Scott. Hey, Randy. Sergeant Cooper. What's up? Hey, Sarge. So, sorry to bother you at the house here, but, you know, we stopped by your office at work, and they said 
you go home, er, home early and you know, we've been talking at the base and they say that we're probably going to be deployed up next. Any truth behind that? Look, my crew doesn't know anything yet. Oh. I did get an email today, all right? And the email says, odds are that we're going. So they're giving me a little bit of a heads up. So I'm going to give you all a little bit of a heads up. Odds are we're going. They're saying that we'll have the orders cut probably tomorrow. So they usually give us about 72 hours to mobilize. So y'all going to have a few days, get your things together, make sure you get by Jack and get your wheels and all that stuff done. All right? So they'll give you time to do that. My wife's really going to hate this. She hated me to sign up for the military. She hated the haircut. And now i got to leave. We haven't even been married a year yet. You see, gonna hate this. you see his hair before he got in. No. Dude, when they recruited him, his hair was down to here. Oh, he looked I've like a girl. It. I've seen him. <laughs> yeah. But, all jokes all right, now, guys, huh? Look, it's going to be fine. I don't know. This is what you signed up for. All right? You knew when you got in that odds were we were going to get deployed. Yes, sir. And so just remember, freedom isn't free. Yes, sir. Thank you for your time. All right. Y'all take no, it easy. I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. No, you're not going. No, you're not going. You can't go. Look, baby, it's going to be okay. It'll be over with before you know it. Why did you join the military? I told you something bad was going to happen. We weren't even married three months when you did this. Why'd you do this to me? Look, everybody else has done being shipped to the Middle East. And Sergeant Cooper told us we got 72 hours before we have to go. We was blessed to stay this long. I don't want you to go. Look, you remember Desert Storm when my cousin was there? He was back before we even knew it. We won't be gone long. Car tag's gonna expire at the end of this month. So that means it's already been a year?
Taking him from me. What did I ever do to you? We were only together a year. Why are you doing this to me? If you let me just see him one more time, then I promise I'll serve. Just one more time, that's all I'm asking.
Daddy brought me here the day we got married, and he said something special was supposed to happen here, and I believe him. I need to pray some more. Oh, what good is that going to do anything? Pray your Rex, Mama. Is it really you? How are you, sweetheart? You came back. You came back to me. How are you doing this? I have to give you something. I have missed you so much. Oh. We're going to be together again. The war's over. Everything's going to be all right. Just like you said, isn't it? You can't go where I'm going. way to go where I am is through Jesus Christ. There is no other way. And you've never accepted him. Don't leave me here. I have to give you something. You told God that if he would let you see me one more time, that you would serve him. to go now. No, Randy, don't leave me here all alone. Christina, you do believe Jesus can save you, don't you? I do believe. I do believe. Naomi! What is it, Mama? I do believe in Jesus. I do believe. What are you trying to say? I had a dream, and I, I saw your father, and he talked to me. What did he say? Can you say the prayer with me? I really want to get saved. Take my hand and repeat after me. Lord, I am a sinner, and I need a Savior. Lord, I am a sinner, and I need a Savior. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of my sins and wash me clean. Lord, I ask you to forgive me for my sins and wash me clean. And make me whole in spirit, soul, and body. And make me whole in spirit, soul, and body. That your Holy Spirit might sanctify me. That your Holy Spirit may sanctify me. I ask that you send your Holy Spirit to me. I ask that you send your Holy Spirit to me. That you might lead me in everything that I think, do, and say and that you may lead me in everything I think, do, and say. And I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. Amen. And I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. Amen. Naomi, your mother needs a rest. Now let her get some sleep.
she's healed.
Mama, don't leave me. You are right. If you go, then who's going to take care of me? Tell the world, sweetheart. Jesus can say it. Tell everyone. Don't leave me here all alone. I have to go now. You can't leave me here all alone. You tell them. Thank you.